Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your user database with Softer. If you're not familiar with Softer, Softer is one of the best websites for creating web applications. On my channel, I have a lot of videos about software and how to do that. Chances are, if you're creating a web application, you are going to integrate user authentication, which Softer already has native, but you are going to want to store data about your user somewhere. With our backend, we are going to use Airtable, but I'm going to show you how to actually configure your Airtable base to store user data. What we're going to do first is set up our database. So I'm just going to sign in. I'm going to then create a base. And I'm going to call this users. Oh, I'm going to call this uh, software user database tutorial. I am then going to call the table users. And here we're going to do a couple things. So the first thing I want to do is Airtable natively creates unique keys for every row. And you can't see that here right now, but we typically want to store these keys if we want to add complex functionality in software. So what we're going to do is edit this first primary key, which always has to be there. You can delete all the rest, but you cannot de delete a primary key. And what I'm going to do is change this to formula, call this user ID, and then I am going to use record ID, just like that, and press save. And you can see, immediately see that we can now see the record ID. The next thing I'm going to do is put the name and change this to short line text. I'm going to put an email, change this to email. I'm going to put a magic link. And this is one of the ways in software the user can reset their password. I'm going to put URL right there. I'm going to put created time when the user's account was created. And I'm going to put a, let's see, last modified time. and add that field. So now we have all the fields we need. What I am going to do is then go back to software and now we're going to create our front end. If I log in, click new application, what you'll be able to see is it gives us templates. What I'm actually going to do is start from blank application and go into connect Airtable I'm going to connect my API key. I will edit this out so you won't be able to see my API key. Now my API key is connected. It gives us uh, options to add pre-built pages. I'm just going to remove some of these pages here. And remove the form page. So all I'm going to have on this application, just to show you how to create the user database, is I have home, sign up, sign in, Forgot, password, and user profile. So we create an application, and you can see it gives us all our pre-built uh, our pre-built blocks. To connect our backend database, we want to head over to users. We want to use our available data source. We want to find our base. So our base is called user 
the user database tutorial. Then we want to select users. We have an email field. We can add that there. We can add additional fields such as a name field, magic link, an avatar. So I don't have an avatar, uh, which is just a profile picture, but I am going to go back and add that. And let's see if I can go back. If we're going to go here, and what I want to do is edit the connection and go down. I want to select avatar, and then I am going to select avatar. And now we have an avatar field. We connected our avatar field. And so now if we actually go back to home, you can see immediately we have a sign in, sign in page here or a sign in, sign in button. We scroll down, sign in, sign up. This call to action, we're just gonna ignore this for now. And now if we go in preview, we click sign sign up, that's what we want. And I'm just gonna add this information so I can sign up. If I agree, sign up. Obviously I haven't added any components so it just takes us to the page, but what you can see is this menu bar change to the menu bar that only logged in users can see. And now if I click here and I click, we didn't adjust this to from link name to profile, but this is a profile page. You can see I have my profile information and I can go ahead and change my password. If we take a step back, go to users. If we go ahead to our user database, we can actually see the user has been added. What we might also want to do on the profile, if we go over to the profile page, user profile, we may also want to show their avatar image. So you can see avatar image here, map to avatar. So what, what I might do if I go to this, Browse. Let's see if I can find an image on myself. Okay. I did just see one. So I uploaded an image of myself. And what you should be able to see, if I just refresh this, I've got a click update profile. You can see that image has been added to our backend database there. You can add many other fields, maybe user preferences and different information here. As long as you have it in the backend database, it will update the user profile. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comment section or feel free to reach out to me on social media.